This will probably be the highlight of my career, honestly. It's a New York City moment that we'll never forget. We're thankful to be here. We're thankful to help out the city and the city of New York. Thank you all for keeping us going. This was the start of getting New York back on track. We kept the world moving, for sure. The heart and soul is really coming back. An extraordinary day in our city. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Confetti rained down on our hometown heroes today as the city celebrated essential workers with a ticker tape parade. Some parts of the celebration had to be canceled because of the extreme heat, but that didn't stop the crowds from coming out to say thank you. In a big way, too, it started in Lower Manhattan near Battery Park, then traveled up the Canyon of Heroes for about a mile, and then ended near City Hall. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor wraps up this day we will never forget. Yet. Up the Canyon of Heroes, our essential workers came for their day in the sun, and it was a hot one. A little bit hot? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Leading off in the city's official parade car, Grand Marshal Sandra Lindsay. The Chrysler Imperial Phaeton has given rides to world leaders and celebrities for decades. And now the Queen's nurse, who became the first person in the U.S. to receive a COVID-19 vaccine, joins the list of famous passengers. I always was hopeful and here we are today. That wasn't the only old vehicle on the move. The Transit Museum lent out this subway car, more than a century old, to honor the transit workers who kept the city moving. They literally carried the city on their back for 18 months. It's awesome to be, to be celebrated like this. Ten bands and 14 specialty vehicles traveled the route which began at Battery Park and went north along Broadway to City Hall. Delivery workers like Sarah with UPS were honored. It was December 14th and we just received the first vaccine delivery and it was going to NYU and I got to be there. Hospital and healthcare workers, some in their lab coats marched. We thanked the Department of Social Services. It's been so amazing for us to come out here and actually come together after such a hard year. Education, first responders, community care, advocacy organizations, hospitality and building care, food, bodega workers, and utilities all got the thank yous they deserve. Everybody who makes the hospitals work in this crisis, you are our heroes. Thank you. We just wanted to thank them. Thank you. And once the parade ends, the cleanup, and it's a massive one, begins. The parade may be over, but the gratitude that remains. In Lower Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Oh, man, moment after moment. Don't you start getting choked up right here. You hear me? Because this was the kind of day where you would just feel it. You yeah. look in the eyes of these people who done all this work mm -hmm. and now they're getting their moment in the sun and they're getting the gratitude they're feeling the love and that was what the day was all about yeah. start to finish I have to admit I really didn't know what to expect right same know, before before I got there were worried uh, I was and, <laughs> and it was all because of the emotion that we've all been through we've all had our own experience this past year right and I mean just th there's our grand marshal <laughs> Sandra, Lindsay. It's Sandra Lindsay who received the first COVID um, you know vaccine and she was she was you know just so gracious and I think the, what stood out for me is that they just really were enjoying their moment in the spotlight, which they so deserved. Absolutely. And they were um, hopeful. They right. were happy. They were rejoiceful. Right. Um, and just I feel as though it's okay to say, I think we're turning the corner. I know it's not over. Right. It's not over. Especially where we've been. If you look yeah. back to exactly one year ago, everyone was afraid. We couldn't even touch each other, look at each other, be in the same room. But now, I think I said it during the broadcast, it was like a cork was popped off this city. <laughs> and everyone just let it out and yeah. just felt the moment and mm -hmm. got into it. And, you know, and these are everyday people that we were mm -hmm. saying hello to. And they, we were just sharing it all with them. Everyday people who don't do anything for accolades 
accolades and for fame. They do it because they love what they do. Mm -hmm. And they kept this city running. Yes, Essential workers, hometown heroes. Yeah. Never more have those words been true we than today. We saw delivery workers yeah. there. We saw, yeah. you know, people from UPS, FedEx, Amazon, all those people that were, you know, delivering everything, the food, the food service workers, the people that were feeding the homeless. Yeah. They were all there, the yeah. food insecure. It was really nice. Kept our city going. And man, thank you. We cannot say it enough. Gratitude was the main word of the day. Absolutely. And it was hot, too. It was hot. But you know what? Our team, um, our team that was there with us to cover this and that has been with us throughout the pandemic, um, it was, you know, just so nice to be able to share all of that. And to see everyone in person. Our reporters out there, you see Chris right there, Jessica before, Jenna rode the, the train, the old train, century old train car. Andrea, Cindy, mm -hmm. they were out there. And of course, all the people behind the scenes are producers, Absolutely. our directors, all of our technical. Did a fantastic oh. job bringing it home to the people. It was all great. Right.